Welcome back to Fishing with Ants. Well, it's time to get started on the uh, 2022 Pelican Bash Raider uh, overhaul and uh, modification for, for uh, like I said, 2022. So I'm going to be turning this guy into more of a single man boat, um, actually configurable for one or both. I want to start fishing out of the front when I'm by myself. And uh, if somebody's with me, I can always fish out the back. So um, first thing I got to do is clean off all the junk off this thing. And uh, one thing that's not junk is uh, my new Honda motor that's going to go on here. Finally got a gas outboard for this guy. I'm um, going to fish some different waters this year in addition to my usual spots. And um, <clears throat> we'll see what happens with that. But... Uh, so anyway, the main goal is to configure this thing so that I'm going to be able to fish out of it by myself out the front. Um, I need to cut the table down. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the, this other smaller table, uh, or this one or cut this one down and use both. We'll see. I'm not going to throw this guy away. He has a nice single man table, but, um, I'm going to probably cut this guy down and uh, it, it I lost some pole holders and it needs it needs some TLC and uh, <clears throat> for whenever I'm fishing um, uh, with another guy and and just whenever I'm fishing I uh, need more basically more poles than than um, than just the four so I'm not gonna abandon that table I'm just gonna fix it up so that's one thing and um, Another thing, just got to pull this floor out of here. It needs done over again. Going to have to do something with the uh, pole holders in the front. Uh, I don't like those, uh, especially if I'm going to be fishing out of the front. Um, I've got some stuff in there, but I, I got to do something to make that a little better if I'm going to be fishing out of the front. So, <clears throat> but those are just high-level items that... Uh, I want to work on to get this pelican ready for different waters for 2022 so um gonna be multiple videos and um, i'll probably do at least two and maybe might spill into a third once we unbox that motor and and figure that thing all out and um, go from there so pelican overhaul modification for 2022 thanks for coming along let's get this thing cleaned up on fishing with vance all right, I got everything pulled off the boat, uh, cleaned off, set some of it over there and some of it back there. Um, starting to pull this floor up. It's harder to pull up than I thought. So uh, I don't think I'm going to, it doesn't look too, too bad. This thing is, it's actually held up pretty well. So I think I'm going to um, pull it up a little bit and sweep under there as best I can. There's no sense in ripping this up just for the sake of doing it. Um, I might replace my spot back here, but we'll see what happens when I go to pull this sucker up. I'm sure it's locked down pretty good as well, but I might be able to get under there and get some of this. Yeah, get some of this cleaned up. So, all right, let's get the old uh, shop back rolling. Here we go. Sweep that up pretty good. I pulled it up. I see I missed a spot there, but pulled it up. It looks... It's, uh, there was a lot of rocks and all kind of stuff underneath it. And uh, I pulled it up pretty good and didn't destroy it, though. It's it's actually on there for better than I thought it was. So I'm just going to, uh, I, I pulled it up enough to sweep under it. Got a ton of rocks and debris and a bunch of old soft plastics, believe it or not, out from under there. And uh, now I think I'm just going to give her a good cleaning and uh, wipe her down. It's been a while, so I'm gonna bust out some uh, some cleaner and give her a good old wipe down. So cleaned her up. The sides haven't looked this clean in a long time, so that's good because I'm preparing to the next step. I'm gonna try to clean that floor a little bit next, but. The side is uh, the gunnels are nice and nice and clean now, so that's good because what I want to try to do is a um, um, couple things. As I mentioned before, 
I want to change the arrangement of how I'm going to be in this boat. Um, the outboard is back here. I'm probably going to go with a table next and then one single chair here and then I'll fish out of the front. <clears throat> but a um, couple things I need to do uh, is I'm going to work on cutting that table down and like I said, clean the floor. But a big thing that I haven't used on this boat is a Lowrance. And I do have a, uh, or a fish finder, I should say. And I do have a Lowrance, I think it's a hook, hook four, I want to say. I haven't used it. I think I tried it once. And um, I'm going to permanently mount that up here in the front so that um, I don't have to rely on if I'm using the table or what I'm doing, but uh, I definitely want to mount that somewhere up here. That's going to be part of the overhaul in addition to the outboard. So I wanted to make sure these, I guess the story is, I want to make sure these are nice and clean before I uh, would start to work on that. So, all right, next step is clean the floors. And then after that, I'll probably work on this table. All right, moving on to the table. Now, this table that I built last year, and uh, if you guys want to see how I built this, I'll leave a link in the description um, of when I built this guy. This, this, this table was built a little different design than this guy. Here, I'll show you real quick. Uh, you can see, first of all, it's a lot smaller, and it's a lot smaller and it may fit the bill for what I want to do making this a single man um, pelican but uh, and also the design is different on the on how I put the pole holder so you can see this one's recessed down below and then these are on top they both work fine um, this worked out real well it's just uh, not enough not enough rods for me so four is not enough, but sometimes it is. So I'm not going to chuck this table and actually it might work well. Now I'm going to throw it back here because again, um, the configuration that I'm going for is the new, there's the Honda motor back there, the new, uh, outboard. And even if I go by myself and I'm going to go to one of my lakes and it's electric only, I'm still going to stick with the same configuration. So, you know this table could go all the way back here or even up a little bit and to leave me room to put the motor up and down if I'm lifting it up I want to be able to uh, reach over and run the trolling motor so um, and then I'm gonna sit um, in the middle and then be able to go this way but again the point is is I want to be able to most of the time I want to be able to, um, if I'm fishing with my new outboard, put the outboard here, the smaller table here, and then sit here, and then I'll have the whole front. So, and I have a trolling motor in the front um, and outboard in the back. So that's the plan. Now, I'm not sure this table, uh, again, I, I love it and all and certainly some days when I go and I know I'm, I'm not I don't need you know all my rods um, you know if I'm pretty certain of what I'm gonna attack the four rods are plenty and this table actually worked well the only downside of this table is because which was the other big difference you know we got the homemade legs here as opposed to you know mounting it on the bracket and yes it does stay in there it, it did okay but it, it, it would make me a little nervous that it would go flying off the boat, especially in the, you know, with the outboard. So I may use this whenever I'm uh, going by myself and I'm not going to use the outboard. Not that I'm going to be getting up on plane or anything like that, but um, we'll see. We'll see how, how the boat rides with just me in it and with the outboard. Uh, last thing I want is this thing to go, you know, go tumbling off and I lose my rods. But it's going to get used, and it may end up being the better option for me. So we'll see. But in the meantime, I know that I need an application that they can carry eight rods um, for those times that I'm going to take, you know, a bunch of crank 
cranking rods and a bunch of different finesse applications. I like to have a rod for almost everything I'm going to throw. So that's just how I like to roll it. But um, so I definitely want a table that is going to be narrower, but is also going to have four rod holders. This across the outside, it was okay. The downside of it is I, I'd have to reach way over here. And I, it was probably just a matter of time before I lifted this one up and knocked this one into the water. So I think what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to configure these um, two things. One, I want to shrink this guy down, make him more narrow. And, uh, you know, here's a video of me trying to get over it when I'm fishing at uh, my newer lake for this year. I'll put that in there now. This is what I'm talking about. Why I need to narrow the table. Because now I need to step over the table. So if I make this a little narrower, it needs to be about right here or right here. So that I can easily step over. I can make it. And so you see me trying to climb over that um, and I don't know, based on a new configuration, if I'll still have that issue or not, it doesn't matter. I definitely want this to be more narrow. So I'm going to pull these off of here, but I harvested these off of uh, my boy Catter's table. Um, but I think the way I'm going to go is, and uh, let's just see. So I'm probably going to go like this. And this one broke off. Um, which thank goodness it didn't break off with a pole in there so these things over time wear out but it's going to be something like this so if this is all the more it needs to be now i can't cut it too much you know because of the bracket so i'm probably just going to barely bring it out and that will save me um you know a few inches but if, if it was something like that it, it would probably work out. Let me get this thing out of here. All right. So, let's see what that would do. If it would go like this and like this. In uh, placing these, this is kind of how what I had in mind. You got, I want to move it down a little bit so it's further away. But if you have a, you know, if you have a rod here, and this one's kind of facing that way, I probably could spin that. But, you know, if you have another one like here, now, if I go to reach for this one, it's, it's <laughs> I'm crashing my shit here. You know, it's not going to hit. It may hit this one, but it's not going to hit this one. All I'm hitting is the ceiling. But I kind of like that configuration. Um, okay. So, let's disassemble the rest here. These guys, since they're both intact, Although I don't like this one. This this dude's been leaning out since the eighth grade picnic, so he's gonna have to come off and be re-centered. But let's get the rest of these off. I get the rest of these off and I'll come back when I do. Alright, I got everything off this guy. So um, I kind of reseated this one and this one. 
And so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, if I can reach that, anyway, I'll get it in a minute. I'm going to come in about this far on both and cut her down, trim it up, put it back on, put those on, and let's see what we get. Let's do it. So if we're going to, let's just set it on here. It might make more sense. So this guy's going roughly here. Can't come in much further than that. This guy's going to end up like here. So let's just see what that gives us. Yeah, come in about six inches. You know, I do six inches on both sides. You know, all of a sudden it cuts off a foot. That'll work. So I'm going to come in six inches. Trim this sucker down on both sides. So, come in about six inches. I don't want to write on my uh, flex seal. That's okay. I don't fish in the rain much anyway, so I think the flex seal is kind of overrated. But and it peels off, gets all over my bag. But that's okay. We won't peel it off, whatever's left. Let's go from there. Alright. Trim this guy up. Let's do it. Looking for some safety glasses. There they are. Don't be hiding on me, safety glasses, guys. Can't have nothing happen to your eyes. You only get two. So, <laughs> been a while since I used these. Let me clean these up. All right. Let's see how she does. pull that guy out of there any has anyway I can't get past it losing rods all right Tell you what, guys, I got this uh, this Makita sweeper for Christmas gift. One of the kids got it for me, and uh, you know this is not a paid endorsement, but I'll tell you this thing kicks butt for quick quick jobs like that. You have you know I got all kind of Makita batteries, jigsaw, I got all kind of crap. But if you have the batteries, it is a little pricey, but I'll tell you it works. Works nice for quick little jobs like this. Keep me out of the doghouse with Mrs. Vance. So, in other words, it's worth it. <laughs> Better trimmed up, and boy, I tell you, it's nice and light now. So, <clears throat> still a little test before I put the trim on. Let's see what we got here. Because this is the bag I usually take, and you know, my man. Uh, 
my man Steve comes, we'll put that right on there. Have two bags. We'll have a little less room for drinks, but we'll put them on the sideline. But again, I only fish with Steve a couple times a year. And so you gotta make this puppy nice and lean. Alright. Put the trim on. Put the trim back on and we'll go from there. I think the trim we had should be fine. Waste not, want not. Throw those on first. Again, we're not making, we're not building the Eiffel Tower here, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to hold our crap while we fish. So, all right. Got these self trap, uh, self tapping lathe screws here, and uh, most of them still look good. So, throw those pups right back on. Maybe different holes, <clears throat> get a little more strength, but that's what we'll do. Wish I had some of my clamps down here. I don't have any, they're all up in the workshop, of course. And since we have a foot of snow, I don't want to walk up there. We we'll just do the best we can just by holding it old school by hand. Which will be fine. Maybe I will use the same. It'll help me. So. Ah, we don't need no clamps. We're good. Let's keep it pushing. All right. We'll secure this and I'll be back. All right. <clears throat> we got our trim down. I think it's looking good. Took uh, six inches off both sides, narrowed these or brought them in. Still can have eight rods on there. Again, this is designed for when old Vance is by himself. But I, I can fit one bag here, one bag there, or a smaller bag. Um, maybe if I'm going with a second guy, I can, you know, uh, take a smaller bag with me. Um, oftentimes, I don't need that big bag. Um, but when I'm going with myself, there's plenty of room for that bag right in the middle. So this should be good. Let's see what happens. Let me just put this last, uh, put this handle on. Probably don't even need the handles because it's definitely this thing's nice and light now, which is uh, going to be nice. So let's put the handle on and then let's try it out over there and see what kind of space we're going to have on the old bass rider. Okay. All right, here's the pieces I cut off. Hold on to those, you never know. My pops always said, don't throw away wood. You never know when you're gonna need it. And he's right. All right, <clears throat> so let's take this off. Just for now. And that might get used on a day when I don't need as many rods. So let's try this. Oh, it's nice and light, real light. Hit old glory there on the way by. That's okay. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be nice. Beautiful. So I'll definitely be able to reach right over that guy. So kind of got old glory in the way here. All right. So I got that back there now. So oh, this is gonna be perfect. Oh, this is going to be nice. So now, I'm just going to be able to sit this thing right here. I got the whole front. I got the whole front. So, I'll definitely be able to, you know, reach back and uh, run the trolling motor from there or run the gas motor from there, I would say. Um, we'll definitely give that a shot. Um, I may buy an extension for it. We'll see. But I definitely will be able to reach. Just turn and reach back and, and run it. So we'll give that a shot. And go from there. If it doesn't work out, then at least I'll move it to the middle. And then uh, it'll be easier for me to get over if I do decide to fish out of the back. I'll probably fish out of the front. With this like this, even if... 
even if I'm running the electric motor out of the front um, and nothing in the back uh, I still I have all kind of space up front now and uh, I'll be able to stand up a little bit more and um, and go from there so I like this and then I'll also be able to get in pretty easily too so uh, I like it all right all right guys that's going to conclude this part one of the pelican overhaul for uh, for 2022 so to summarize we cleaned her all up and uh, got her clean we cut down the table reconfigured that cleaned the floor sometimes it's hard to tell but cleaned everything out pulled the floor up swept under it and that's good got the new registration on too <laughs> but that's going to be it for part one and uh part two we're going to unbox the honda 2.3 motor probably going to put it on there and see how i'm going to pull the boat out a little bit i got some space it's so snowy i can't get too much but i can pull it out some and we'll uh i'm going to unbox the motor put it on there see what it looks like see if i can <clears throat> see how it goes if uh, if I can reach it I'll probably get up in the boat and try it out but uh, should be good so we'll put the motor on see how that works and then after that I got to get in that box and start to configure the Lowrance where's it gonna get mounted where's the battery for it gonna go and uh, we'll go from there I like the battery to be mounted right to this um, right to this piece of wood somehow I'm not sure we'll have to figure that out but then I'll wire it right up and uh, <clears throat> maybe come out the front wire it up and so that the, the seat isn't in the way and wire it permanently and mount that Lowrance so that I can start using it so that'll be the next part of the video the big motor and the Lowrance and then the Pelican should be should be ready to go Let's scrap wood off of here and it's gonna be a lot of nice space a lot of nice space up front so should be good oh yeah one more thing I definitely gotta make some new pole holders for up here because this these just don't cut it I'll probably use some PVC raise them up I think I have some <clears throat> that if I cut the bottom off of what I have left over I don't know where they're at right now they're over there and put those on and uh, I'm fishing out the front should be should be pretty good so there you go that's it that's it for part one of the pelican reconfiguration modification whatever you want to call it part one uh for 2022 on fishingwithvance.com thanks for joining me i appreciate you watching if you like this video check out the playlist of all my other videos for uh, catching bass off the pelican uh, trout and also uh really have gotten into carp fishing lately uh, in the off season here, uh, I do a lot of product reviews on um, the Pelican um, fishing rods and reels, and then obviously lots of uh, Pelican boat mod videos. So check those out. We have playlists for that. Hit subscribe, hit like, and comment. Thanks for watching.